Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Target Focus Life. Today, I have the CZ Sharp Tail side-by-side 20 gauge shotgun. We're gonna take a detailed and in-depth look. You ready? Let's go! The CZ Sharp Tail is an evolution of the wildly popular, at least according to CZ, ring neck shotgun. This is a totally new action, smaller. This is the first time I've shot a CZ over under, break action, side by side, any of those. And just looking at this gun, I'm really excited, especially at the price point. Let's jump into the specs. The MSRP of this shotgun is $9.99, but I picked it up for less than that. I believe $9.49. Side by side, just a great looking shotgun that's not gonna break the bank. This particular sharp tail is a 20 gauge, but the sharp tail is also available in 12, 28, and 410. This is a three inch chamber, 28 inch barrel, and it tips the scale at six pounds, five ounces. The length of pull in this shotgun, the distance from the trigger to the butt end is 14 and a half inches. Fits me pretty well. If you're a little bit smaller, that might be a bit long for you. Drop at the comb is an inch and a half. Drop at the heel is two and a quarter. So you have three quarter inch drop on this shotgun. Field gun. I mean, something you can shoot clays with, really. Something that you could take out pheasant hunting, in the grouse woods, quail hunting. A lot of great options with this 20 gauge. The sharp tail comes with five chokes. There's two in the gun. And then there's this choke carrying case. Comes with three additional flush mounted chokes. I would switch these out for my Carlson's chokes. Let's take a look at the trigger. Make sure we're empty. Just go ahead and dry fire this shotgun. A little on the heavier side. I mean, it's not terrible. Not a lot of pre-travel. Good crisp break. I was gonna say, I did, ooh, that was a little swing to it. It's gonna be close to six and a half pounds. I think it's gonna be pushing seven pounds. Six. Oh, 611. Told you to be pushing seven pounds. We'll enter that one. Give it another pull. Six pounds, 7.6 ounces. Uno mas with the sharp tail. Six pounds, 8.7 ounces. So we're looking at six pounds, nine ounces. Not a bad trigger overall. Did I mention MSRP is 9.99 on this shotgun? I think I'm okay with that for a field gun. Not a competition gun, but just a field gun. That's, that's an okay trigger pull. Next, let's take a look at the ergonomics of this shotgun. This is the feel, the function, the form. In the hands, how does it feel? Got a real slender grip right here. See how my finger comes onto the trigger. Actually pretty decent. I got full grip. That first pad reaches the trigger nicely. My thumb is in the trough. The thing is with these splintered front ends, beaver tail front ends, whatever you want to call them. You don't have a lot of surface area to grab a hold of. So if I shoot like this, my thumb's actually on the barrel or floats, which I don't love. You can definitely, a lot of field hunters are going to shoot like that. They're not going to point a finger. Let me know how you do it. Like this or with the pointer. I have a little bit of trouble getting down on this gun. If I just mount it up, I'm a little high. I got to really get my cheek into it. I shot a couple boxes before we started this video. It took me a while to get warmed up to it. The checkering is pretty decent. It's a nice overall looking gun. The receiver is color case hardened, which looks really nice. Some engraving detail, nothing over the top. The top of the action, then the top lever has some detail. This tang has some detail. We got the barrel selector and safety combo here. That operates smoothly. The bottom of the shotgun looks really nice as well. Like it's nothing overly fancy, but it's, it's a sharp looking shotgun for the money. I will admit that. One front bead, it is a ivory front bead, side by side barrels. The wood is not fancy. It doesn't have really any figuring in it, but it's a decent looking wood. The butt pad is real thin, so you can get longer butt pads, length of pull, aftermarket. You see here, see that? That's hard and smooth, why? Well, because this is a field gun. When you're walking the field, you're often like this. Bird comes up, you're bringing the shotgun up in this motion. 
So that's hard and smooth. It's less likely to catch. If it hits there, it will slide better. This is foam. That will get caught on clothes. A nice little attention to detail there to add that. A little better field mounting. Ergonomics, I'm, I'm really happy with this gun. Let's see where the balance point is. Just in front of the hinge point. Yeah, it does feel just a little forward heavy. I don't mind that. It's gonna give me a little smoother swing coming into my birds. Really pleased with how this shotgun comes together, the form, the function. I have noticed, and it's loosening up a little bit. It was really stiff there for a little while. I got a couple boxes through it, and now top lever, that pops open. There is no auto ejectors. There is an extractor that pulls the shell up so you can just grab them and throw them, which is kind of nice when you're field hunting. You know, you can take them out, put them in your pouch, your, your pack, whatever you got. You're not just flinging shells all over, then you gotta go find them. So that would actually be my preference in a field gun like this. Let's take a look at recoil and reliability. See how this gun feels. It's a lighter gun, but it is also a 20 gauge, so I don't anticipate a ton of recoil. I wanna see if I take it directly back into my shoulders. Reliability, there's not gonna be a lot to talk about because I think you really gotta look at thousands and thousands of rounds. So if you have the sharp tail, I would love to get your feedback in the comments. What's your experience with this gun? How is it held up? Let's just go ahead and put a couple 20 gauge Federal Top Gun 7 8 ounce in there. And why don't you pull me a number four, Jordan? Pull. Took me two shots, but I got it. Very soft shooting. I'm not really even noticing the recoil. Let's take a number, let's do a number two. Rabbit coming across. Pull. Nine coming from the right. Pull. Yeah, recoil, super light. I'm gonna shoot two more just because I love shooting this gun. It's really taken me some time to get used to. I've missed a lot of shots so far, but I'm just starting to get into a rhythm with it. Pull. Yeah, feels great. Awesome feeling, awesome shooting gun. Let's take a look inside. There's a lot of crud buildup right here. That's interesting. Pretty solid build looks like. Set those down for a second. Looking at the action here, just beautiful. I mean, this is a solid build. I don't think you're gonna have any issues over time with this thing. Nothing stands out to me. Very simple. Let's slap it back together. Make sure that's properly seated. Push the top lever. We're hot to trot. There we go, we're back together. Mechanical trigger. Look at that. This is not an inertia trigger, it's a mechanical trigger. I like that a lot, especially a sub thousand dollar shotgun. Quality of build, I think is solid. I think everything comes together really nice on this shotgun. I'm looking at lines. You know, this is not a high end. This is not a high grade fancy shotgun. You're not paying for that. But how everything comes together, I think it exceeds expectations for the most part at this price point. Now we're gonna try this on the clock, speed shooting, two hand thrown clays. How fast can I shoot it? This is where it all comes together. I will look at pointability, balance, trigger, recoil, all of those things. I've never speed shot a side by side shotgun, so this should be a lot of fun. Let's go. Here we go. Got the pink ones today. These pink ones don't like to separate. It's like girls going to the bathroom. They just want to stick together, you know? <laughs> Everyone I've missed, I've shot on top of. I think I have trouble getting my head down. That was a 1.05, but I didn't get them both. Hey, I got that one. I think I threw a little early. It was a 0.93 total time. Everything's come together really well though. Like I'm not experiencing any issues with the trigger. I'm shooting high. I have trouble getting my head down. That's the only thing. Sight picture is quite a bit different on a side-by-side -side rather than a semi-auto or even an over-under. Clean hit, a little slow getting on them. 1.09. Good clean hits. Ah, one second. That's not terrible. Still at a 2.7 split. But I gotta say, there's a learning curve to this shotgun. It's taken me a little while to get on birds. I think it just has to do with my sighting, my, pic my sight picture. I'm not looking at the bead. So it does look a little bit different. Side by sides take a little getting used to if you're not used to shooting them. 
But man, is this a fun gun? Is this a pretty gun? Is this a, I mean, this is a quality gun. For the money, sub $1,000. Really happy with what CZ has put out. This is made in Turkey. CZ is a Czech company, but they have CZ USA out of Kansas City, actually. So when it comes to bang for the buck, I'm super happy with this gun. You wanna get into a side-by-side -side that looks pretty decent, that's not gonna break the bank. This is worth a look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. As always, remember, whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots you're laser focused on. So live, target focus. See ya.